to begin tonight with a community in mourning. A nine-year-old boy, Wyatt Barber of Meigs County, collapsed and died during football practice earlier this week. The culprit, a rare heart condition. Tonight, our Dan Perlman was the only Central Ohio TV reporter there as the entire community gathered to remember Wyatt Barber. Well, the 50-yard line right here at Eastern High School instead has the number 56 painted on it. That was Wyatt Barber's number. This was also the spot where just a short time ago, I witnessed what one man called Small Town USA at its best. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I know a lot of people question uh, living in small communities, but it's time like these that we truly realize how blessed we are. Beneath the lights, he once roamed as a water boy. Wyatt was honored with notes and balloons. He was remembered through tear filled eyes, his football team standing strong in prayer. It was Monday on this very field. Wyatt collapsed. A heart condition turned deadly. He was nine years old, happy, funny, a kid completely dedicated to his team. He leaves behind his parents, a brother, a sister, a heartbroken community in southeast Ohio. I was, was lost, but now I'm found. Number 56, gone too soon. Was blind, but now I see. We can all question why, and none of us understand. What we can do is keep the faith, pray, and continue to show love and support for his great family. And Wyatt's football team was scheduled to play their championship game this coming Saturday. That has been postponed until next week. No word quite yet as to how his team will honor him. In Meigs County, Dan Perlman, NBC4. It is a story that has touched so many. Wyatt Barber passed out after players took a break from running sprints. The coroner says Barber had an abnormal left main coronary in his heart, and he had no other injuries. Coaches performed CPR but were not able to revive him. He later died at the hospital. Today we spoke to a local cardiologist who wants more schools and athletic events to have a potentially life-saving tool on hand. Why, when the football coach goes out with pads and mouth guards and water, isn't there an AED in his bag? Dr. Curtis says the AED, or automatic external defibrillator, might not have helped in Wyatt Barber's case because his condition is so rare, but the doctor says it could help in other cases. Now, for more on this story, go to NBC4i.com or to our Facebook page to share your support for Wyatt's family.